Due to the war, he was eventually transferred to the Akita prison. He was to be placed amongst the most dangerous prisoners. His revolutionary cell was supposed to be escape proof. The walls were made out of concrete. The ceiling had a grid for a window without the glass so the cold could get in. All winter long, he would train himself to climb the walls to reach the grid window above. Don't know how he did that, but he did. He used a little metal wire he'd stolen and a tiny construction metal plate that he'd turned into a blade. He started sawing the grid off that ceiling window. He'd heard talk about a typhoon coming to town and he decided it was on that day that he would escape. He had successfully sawn the window grid and he was able to climb out of his cell through the ceiling and get out through the roof unnoticed. He was finally free. He worked all night so he wouldn't get caught this time and by morning he had arrived to a small village. He stole some clothes, some food, and started a long walk along the train tracks on the way to Tokyo. He would walk like that during three months. By the end of September of 1942, he was entering Tokyo. Unfortunately for him, during a routine ID check by the police, he was transferred to jail again, but this time to the Abashiri jail, the worst prison there was. 